Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you how to make this witch's hat cupcake topper. So I've made this tutorial as easy as possible, but if you do struggle, I have an even easier witch hat cupcake topper tutorial and I'll leave a link to that in the description. And you may also be interested in my other Halloween cake topper tutorials and I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description so you can take a closer look later. Okay then, let's begin the tutorial. So firstly, I have about 30 grams of black modeling paste, which I'm going to knead until pliable. And then once I'm happy, I'm just gonna form this into a ball shape. And I will leave a link to everything that I use in this tutorial in the description so you can take a closer look later. Okay, there's my ball shape. And now I'm just gonna form this into a cone shape. So I'm just pressing down a little bit more on the outer of my hand there. And you can see a small cone shape forming. Okay, so I'm just going to rotate it upwards now just to get a flat bottom. And then again, we're just going to move it in the palm of my hand just so we get that nice tall cone shape with a flat bottom. I'm just going to use my thumb and finger to rotate and I'm a little bit up from the bottom of the hat. And this will give me a, like, a little bit of a divot there. You can see where it's coming out at the bottom, which gives me something to hold on to to go all around the edge to start making the hat's peak. So just using my thumb and finger, going all the way around. And this is good because instead of making it separately with the peak and the pointed bit of the cone, you don't have a join to cover. So you just keep going round until you're happy. Now, if you're struggling, you could use a ball tool in the middle there. Just pop it in the middle, spin the cone around. And there you can see you've got a little bit of an indent. And now you can just use your thumb and finger again just to go around and that gives you a bit more pace so you can make a bigger peak and a thinner peak if that's what you wanted. So now it's just a case of just going around and just making your peak as big and as thin as you want it to be really. So now I'm just going to make the top a little bit more pointed by just pulling it up with my thumb and finger. Gently pulling and then rotating just to get a smooth cone and then again within my palms Just so it goes nice and even and now I'm just going to gently just bend that over there at the top Because I'm going to have a little bit of a curved hat at the top there. It's going to be bent at the top And then I'm just going to use my blade tool just to gently mark a couple of crease marks So it looks like it's the fabric of the hat creasing where it bends There we go and guys, if you do like this tutorial, please do give it a thumbs up as it really helps my channel. Thank you. So I'm just going to go around and just finalise how I want the peak to be. And then once I'm happy, which I think I am, I'm going to make the orange ribbon decoration. Okay, to make this, I just coloured some white modelling paste orange. And I'm just going to form a small piece of it into a tube shape here. And then I'm just going to pop it onto my board. And I'm just going to use my cake smoother to carry on rolling it out so I get a nice even tube shape. Okay, so I'm just going to check this for length around the, the hat because we don't want it too short, which it is. So I'm just going to carry on rolling it out with the cake smoother until it's a bit longer. So once I'm happy, I use the cake smoother just to press down to make the ribbon flat. And I'm just adding a little bit of clear alcohol to the middle of the ribbon, not the outside, just the centre. And then we're just going to wrap it around. So you want to make sure you've got the front of the hat looking at you. And then you can just cross it over there at the back. Just going to gently take away the ends there. And then I'm just going to cut a little triangle out of each one so it looks like a little ribbon. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to hit subscribe so you're notified of my next tutorial. And there we go. And then I like to just tidy it up with a dry brush. And you can shape it as well. Okay, so now we're going to do the bow. We've got two small balls of orange modelling paste. I then form it into a flat triangle shape, which is a little bit thinner at the pointed end, which you can see here. 
There we go. Make sure they're the same size. Then I just get my Dresden tool and I just mark in three lines, one in the middle and then two other side at an angle. And then I pick them up and kind of squish them together and that gives you like the crease of a bow. And I just push with my finger and that also gives you a nice little bow shape. Okay, so just gonna turn them over. Add a little bit of clear alcohol or you could use an edible glue. And I'm just going to stick those into position. And there we go. And if you wanted to, you could further shape them like with your Dresden tool, just so you get a little bit of a curved bit on the outside of your bow. Okay. Lovely. So now I'm just going to do the centre of the bow and I've got a tiny piece of orange modelling paste which I'm forming into a tube again. Pop it onto the board, use my cake smoother to flatten it out. And then I'm just going to add some clear alcohol all around the centre of the bow. And then I'm just going to pop this into the middle. It's going to have a little hangover at the bottom there which you can see. And I'm just going to use my Dresden tool just to gently curve it underneath and then use my other side of Dresden tool just to create a little cr crease there so it looks like a bow crease and then scissors just to trim the top of that paste there and then again my Dresden tool just to tuck that over there and then the other end just to press down and you'll get that nice little crease And if you think any bits need tidying up, you can just use a clean dry brush just to neaten any bits there. So that's your hat pretty much made. What I like to do is just go around the rim of the hat just to bend the edge up a little bit in places to make it look a little bit weathered and a little bit more realistic. And it also gives it a little bit of character. Okay then, there we go. That is your witch hat cupcake topper made. I really hope that you liked this tutorial. Please don't forget to check out my other ones. Please comment, like and subscribe for more and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.